Aston Villa up for the Carabao Cup. It's crew of League Two who lie in wait, having dumped Middlesbrough out in round one. The villains with a much decorated history in this competition, having lifted the trophy on five glorious occasions. AVFC have never lost a crew. Dean Smith hoping that record continues here this evening. Finds the angle, right of centre for Keenan Davis, the youngster. Good strength, gets to the byline, excellent start from Davis, but it's cleared away. That's a really positive, purposeful beginning to the game from Aston Villa. Corner kick taken short by the villains, working it nicely. Harahan locks the ball in towards Al Mohammadi, had driven forward. Tight angle there was yes. Davis, and it's in. Yes. A goal for Aston Villa. And Ezri Konsa on target on his debut in the fourth minute, much to the delight of the away fans. Well, the set piece was clipped over from that far side. Konsa, well, that is a dream debut for him. He had the poise, he had the presence of mind there. The ball was bobbling about in the penalty area. He reacted first from close range, and Villa are up and running in this season's Carabao Cup. Villa 1-0 up, but they've got to defend this corner kick to be clipped in at pace. The shot at the back post there, and he's made the save. As Steer, it was driven in low to the ground as it was um, knocked. Well, unmarked was the danger man Chris Porter drove it into the grass. It might have just sneaked in that one, it would have. And Steer not taking any chances. He's made a save, and it's going to be another corner kick this time from the far side. Yeah, Porter peeled off and got himself And it comes in the again, back. and the header offside. surely offside, offside there. And it won't count. Dale converting just below the crossbar, definitely off, no doubt about it. But Villa needs to be careful here, they've had a very shaky minute or so. But then they've lost it again, a little bit scrappy, they can't hold on to possession at the moment. Target's got to be careful not to commit himself here, Lowry, busy. Is the ball going to come in from the right-hand side? Target looking to get the challenge in, it's another dangerous ball. Al Mahadi's Mohamedy's header away, Kirk now in the penalty area, good save, Steer. He's been really busy in the last few minutes, Kirk driving that one, he was a hero from round one, he wanted to do the same in round two, but Steer did well between the posts for Villa. Al Mohamedy, who you know, spoke to him after he signed his new contract, thrilled to stay with the club, lovely ball there by Hotter, they're in, Lansbury, unselfish, Harahan strokes it into the net, and Villa have doubled their advantage, how about that from Lansbury, had the intelligence to realise that Harahan was to his left, and Villa go further ahead, crew have looked dangerous, but Villa have been clinical, first it was concert, and then the Irishman Harrihan, after the reverse pass from Lansbury, had the simplest of tasks of stroking the ball into the net. Oh, lovely little flip there by Harrihan for Hotter, who wants a goal, he's created one already. Hotter, busy for Al Mohamedy with the cross come shot, and it nearly embarrassed the keeper there, so close to nestling in the corner. They've worked it well here at Villa. Lansbury's layoff. El Ghazi clips it in, oh. it's another one. <laughs> and Connor Harrihan at the double in the Carabao Cup. And they're running away with this one now against Crew Alexandra. Beautiful ball floated over from the left-hand side. And Harrihan has shown good finishing ability here. He loves making those bursting runs. He loves scoring goals from Aston Villa. Whatever the competition, and this is looking comfortable for the villains. They're showing their Premier League quality. Crew nil, Villa three, Harrihan has two. How many passes was that, Jack? Well, must have been a few passes. Count.
and they might get themselves a goal here. Oh, it's wasteful finishing from Owen Dale. The substitute, Anini played him in. It was a fairly tight angle, but he'll be very disappointed. He didn't at least force a save. Of course, he had a goal disallowed for offside in the first half. Marvellous for Keenan Davis. Delightful counter-attack this from Ashton Villa. Can Al Ghazi finish it off? It's just far, oh, it's hit the post. So close to being a splendid breakaway goal. Not bad when you can get, bring a player of Grealish's quality yeah. onto the field and you're already 3-0 up against a lead 2-2. Grealish now the longest serving player for Aston Villa, it's amazing, it really is, and he's capturing the team with pride, and he gets the ball in, it's another one, he deserves the goal, Keenan Davis, he's worked tirelessly tonight, he's led that line, he's been unselfish, Grealish stamping his mark straight away, he's just come off the pitch, he's just come on to the field of play rather, he shows his class, running down the left, squaring it, two academy graduates, and that'll delight Dean Smith, Davis, Gets his goal, and Villa cruising now, crew nil, Villa 4. Yeah, I'm pleased for Davis, because he's worked his, he's worked his socks off, and uh, so his, his club captain comes on the pitch and goes, there, yeah. you, there you go, son, you deserve a goal. Of course, El Mohamedy, the captain on the night, but yeah, Grealish has been skippering the side in the Premier League, and he raced upfield there with real intent, showing wonderful ability. Lansbury's going to take it, El Ghazi, Davis, waiting in the middle. In it comes short. Oh, oh yes. Gilbert! Great finish. Absolutely tremendous from the fullback. That is truly magnificent. He just curled it deliciously into the corner, and they just keep scoring goals, and that is the pick of the bunch. He was brilliant on Friday night against Everton in the Premier League. In the Carabao Cup, he's come off the bench, one touch to control, another to bend it past the keeper. That is five-star finishing, five goals for Aston Villa at Crewe in the Carabao Cup. They're looking for a consolation here. A crew, Alexandra, and it's wide from the Still sub. Chuma Anini. They could be playing till midnight. They're not going to score, are they? They've just not been able to show the predatory instincts required on a night like this. But crew have remained positive in trying circumstances as the goals have flown past their keeper, good little run here by Winthel, and he might just go all the yeah. way, and they have got their goal. Ryan Winthel, and you have to say that is deserved for Crew Alexandra. Yes, it will irritate the villains, the, the fact they've not been able to keep a clean sheet, but they've never stopped trying, they've been game for the fight, they have created openings, and it's Winthel surging from midfield who got into the penalty area and he made no mistake with the finish past Jed Steer who can't keep the clean sheet. Villa are still going to win this convincingly but the Crew fans have got their goal. Crew 1, Villa 5. Nicely worked here by Marvellous. In fact, he's unable to guide it for a teammate and uh, well, that's uh, poor defending. He's won the ball brilliantly there as Archer. The cross comes in towards Al Ghazi competing for the ball is Lansbury with the back heel. Grealish drives it home. Six for Villa at Crew, and Grealish has his goal. Really good back heel towards him. Lansbury's weighed in with a couple of assists tonight, and the away fans have absolutely loved the goal scoring of their team this evening. They've turned on the style and Grealish driving low and true there, Lansbury playing it into his path, and that went like a rocket. Excellent power generated on the ball by Grealish, and that 
is the cherry on top of the icing, on top of the cake. Crew one, Villa six. Approaching the final minute of the 90. Villa sailing through into round three. He's played it low, not oh. sure he intended to, and, well, Courtney Hawes nearly crept in there with a goal of his own. Goalkeeper spilled it. Yeah, he did spill it. Arahan, another chance to deliver across, this time from open play. Nice angle. It's the youngster, Archer, trying the cut back with a keeper claim this time. Yeah. There is the final whistle. Job emphatically done by Aston Villa. Not a banana skin in sight. Three goals in each half, five different scorers. Yes, crew grabbed a late consolation, but Grealish there coming off the bench to score the sixth will be very pleased. Gilbert probably the pick of the goals with an absolutely delightful curler into the corner. But, uh, yeah, they've got past crew. And they go into round three in some style. Crew one, Villa six.